Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about Daniel Andrews, Victoria, and quarantine, uh, reopening quarantine hotels in Victoria. Stick around, the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is lovely Melbourne. Um, we've had about a week of zero, 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 which, um, you know, I find quite ridiculous, really, because we kept, you know, when we were in almost complete lockdown, we kept having cases popping up, you know, little, little pockets here and there, and now everybody is everywhere. The malls are packed, the beaches are packed, we haven't even had a single case. I mean, you know, this goes to show, I think, it's a load of bullshit, and it depends on the tests. There's a, there's this rumor that how many times you cycle a test. If you cycle it enough, you get a positive, and if you don't cycle enough, you don't. So these things are controlled. We probably haven't actually had uh, COVID here in Victoria for months now, months. Probably the, the second wave was entirely artificial. I'm obviously not sure. I'm not somebody who believes that the virus doesn't exist. I do believe it exists. Um, but, you know, I think maybe Australia got rid of it a while ago, and what we saw with Daniel Andrews was a kind of um, a, a gigantic sale. And I do think um, it's very interesting because um, obviously Europe has gone into a lockdown again and they've used Melbourne as an example of look what happened. Look how you, know, you locked down hard for like three or four months and the virus completely vanishes. That's why it happened, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we in Victoria went through that in our, in our kind of winter so that the globalists could use that as an example of, oh, look what happens. You know, you lock down so hard and it all goes away when it's all bullshit. As I said, the second, uh, the second wave, I mean, the deaths have begun to, um, it's actually began to kind of like peter off. I mean, it seems like the, the disease is kind of like running out of steam, so to speak. And um, obviously, I do think the uh, the vaccine is on its way, so you know, God knows what that's going to be. Um, you know, obviously, uh, let's hope uh, at, at best it's it's relatively harmless, uh, but you know. Um and uh, might work or might not work, but um, you know, obviously, we all suspect it might be some kind of eugenic agenda attached to that. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. But in relation to um, you know doing uh, hotel quarantine again in Melbourne, I don't think that should happen. I think after what happened last time, hotel quarantine should be done in other states. Um, they, you know, if Victorians want to come back. I do support them obviously coming home because you know I, I'm, I'm supportive of Australians overseas. They should go to New South Wales or, or South Australia, quarantine there, and then um, uh, come down to Victoria from those once they've you know they've proven clean after a couple of weeks. That would be my opinion. I do think it, it is real, but I do think we've entered a, a stage of COVID where it's become just a huge psyop, and it's all very suspicious. So you know um, you know this is all uh, again part of the Great Reset um, Agenda 21, you know Agenda 2030, all that stuff, and you know. It, it's just really, um, you know, it doesn't seem like anyone's going to stop it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, again, dark times ahead. And this is a report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.